Uh, today, if you didn't read, I'm going to be talking about money, attracting more customers, and uh, in all things like that. So let me ask uh, those of you who are here. Uh, hey, Kevin, how many of you would like to have more money? Who would like to manifest or create more of that beautiful, amazing thing uh, called money? Hey, Teresa. Hey, Sarah. Nice. Mary says, yes. Yep. Me, please. It's on the way. Good. Good, good, good. Yeah, good answer, Stan. Me too. Me too. Who wouldn't? Wow. You know, some might. No worries. Good to see you on. Good, good. So we're going to talk about money. Uh, and so who has a business? Is there anyone here who doesn't have a business? I think most people uh, in here has a business. So, so if you do have a business, fantastic. We'll talk about getting more clients. If you don't have a business, we'll talk about attracting other ways that you're going to be able to bring in more money and more things. But uh, it doesn't matter where you're at in life. Today's session is going to be just absolutely perfect. And if you're watching this on the recording, I do come around and check the comments underneath just let me know give me a tag and I'll, I'll see it so it's about money first question that I want us to really get clear on is well what is money what is money really when we really think about it what is it and a lot of you should know the answer to this is is well money is just a measurement and, uh, and and really just own that for a second a lot of a lot of times I see things people talk about money as an energy or money is a this or money is a that or you know money's uh, you know, it's how much you're worth or, you know, uh, I'm not uh, charging what I'm worth. I mean, how could you ever charge what you're worth? You know, it's, you're an infinite, amazing human being. There's no worth attached to it. Um, nice, Stan's got it. So, so money is, is a measurement and uh, it flows to, to someone. It flows to companies. It flows to individuals who are delivering value in a way that people want to pay for it, okay? So, so when, whenever someone asks me, well, what's money? I always say it's a measurement. It's a measurement of something. But what's it a measurement of? It's a measurement of choice. It's a measurement of value, but it's a measurement. And so a lot of people, a lot of people get really confused around money. It, it's not an energy. It doesn't have a consciousness. Uh, it doesn't have any of those things. I'm sorry. It literally just measures. And money measures how much value has been provided in a way that people want to pay for it. And, and, and really just own that for a second. Think about it. Money, money's not an energy. It's measuring. Because you, you can do good things for people and not get paid. You can do bad things and get paid. I mean, just look at the state of the world sometimes, right? So it doesn't flow to being good. Uh, it, it doesn't flow the person who gives the most amount of just value because you can give a heck of a lot of value to the world and, and not make any money. So, so the, the real truth is money is a measurement and it measures, it measures the flow of how much you've given value to someone in a way they want to pay for it. Type in a yes if you get that. Because it's really important to understand it. Because once you understand that first rule, then you can start to understand Okay, so if I want to have more, be more, there's a rule there that I need it to, to flow to me. Does that make sense? And so uh, it's, it's very, very interesting. So, so I want to ask all of you, and we'll talk, we're going to talk straight about money today. How much money would you like to receive? Type it in. How much money would you personally like to receive per month, I don't know, per year, in your lifetime, per week, per day? Awesome. So 5 million. Good for you. Awesome. How much money would you like to receive? Awesome. Let's type it in. How much money would you like to receive? Oh, the, the speed or, or the non-speed of people typing in is showing me that we don't know how to choose this. <laughs> Here it comes. Cool, 500, 10K a month, awesome. Awesome. See, most of you type in. Some people don't want to commit to typing in. Let's 
So how much do you want to receive? I can see everyone's names. I know who hasn't typed in. How much do you want to receive? Doesn't matter. Choose a month, choose a year, just choose. No worries. No worries. There we are, Sarah. Cool. Cool. So here's my next question. Hey, Deborah, just so that you jumped on. So the first question I put in there, hey, Mia, or maybe it's Mia and Alexi. Yeah, I can, Peter. I can. Uh, hold that thought. If I don't answer it, let me know. So the first question is just how much do you, do you want to receive? Whether it's a month, yes, so you choose it. Now, here's a, here's a big question. Why? Why? Why do you want to do that? Why do you want that? See, the, the true, the, there's only one true answer. Uh, what's the true answer, Kevin? What's the true answer? Who else got it? Uh, Linda and Mary. What's the true answer? No, that's not it. There's only one true answer because that's what I choose. That's what I choose to create. See, everything else that we say because we want it isn't us just directly choosing money. So if someone says, you know, oh, well, I, I choose this so I can travel and all these things, we're not just choosing to have the money. When someone says, I choose it to be happy or I'm choosing it to then make others happy, they're not just going for it. And so I want you to feel the difference. I choose to make $5 million because that's what I choose to make. Just feel that. As I said, that's what I choose. I choose 5 million. Versus I choose 5 million because then I'm going to be able to do this. And then I have this and I have this and then I have this. Just feel the difference. Just feel it, right? This one, it's not actually going for the money. It's going for all these other things. And so what happens is it's not a pure choice. Does this make sense? It's not just a pure choice. I'm just saying that's what I choose. I choose that. That's what I'm choosing to create. I'm choosing to create that. And I know Jamie just typed in, I always feel like I need a reason to justify it. Yeah, we always have to try to find these reasons. No, you can just choose it, right? We have all these reasons. Well, if I have this, well, then I'll be worthy. If I have this, then I'll be happy. When I have this, then I'll, you know, I'll contribute. When I have this, I'll do this. I saw it all come in. There's so much stuff around it. Instead of just choosing it. And so what happens is when someone says, I choose to have the money so then I can change the world and do all these other things, they're not just choosing what they want. They're choosing it for a secondary gain. They're choosing the other thing. And so why this is a problem is because they're never just going for it. And therefore, they don't get into the right emotional frequency of just going and having it. And uh, right, Linda just typed in, it made such a big difference in my mindset, leaving the justification out of it. Yes, just choosing it. Why? Because that's where I choose. You know, when you go out for a meal and you go, oh, I'm going to have the fish. Uh, I thought about having the steak, but I'm going to have the fish. Like, no one says, why'd you do that? You, you don't say, oh, because, you know, because like, I wanted the fish. So why five million, not 10? Because that's what I chose. That's what I chose. See, we add so much attachment to it. Oh, I want to be a millionaire because I would make my family proud. I've always wanted to be one. Here's what, what the truth is, is if you're doing it for any other reason, you ready for it? If you're doing it for any other reason, if you're doing it for any other reason, that's where the motivation is. You're coming from problem solving. That's you, you've got to have that problem to exist. See, if you're doing it because that's going to allow you to have more freedom, guess what? When you have the freedom, there's no more motivation. So the thing that you're choosing disappears. Does this make sense to you guys? Type in yes if you're getting it. If you get, let me know. Give me some feedback if this is landing. You've just got to choose it. You've just got to choose it. Yeah, you just choose it. But a lot of us, when it comes to this money thing, because we don't feel worthy or adequate or, or we feel like it's dirty, we have to make up all these stories about it, right? We have to say, well, I've got to, you know, I'm going to choose it because then I'm going to help the world and I'm going to choose it because then I'll be able to do this and I'll be able to have all these things. Do you know what you're really saying? You're really saying, 
money has the power. You're saying money has the power. You're saying, I can't have those things without money. You give your power away to it. You give it away. When you say, I can't do it without this thing, you give it away. And you're saying, that thing has the power. Who's with me on that? You're saying it has the power because you can have freedom. You can have everything you want. You can have abundance without it. But when it's that that has to give it to you, that's where the power is. So I have to ask you the question, where's the power? You, where's the power? And you, you're the power. Because if you, have to get the, if you have to get the money to have the freedom, to have the abundance, to have the love, to have the travel, to have the success, to have the contribution, you're, you're giving it the power. You know, and so if it goes or comes like the tide, that will change how you feel. Change how you feel. So we must have a true goal around it. The true goal is I just want it because that's what I choose. There's no, there's no reason why we need it. But we've been told this. We've been programmed. We've been, uh, we've had this all this stuff around around money, and so you can really see how you're trying to solve a way you feel incomplete by the answer that you wrote down when I asked you why. You can see a way that you feel incomplete by the answer that you wrote down. And some of us are looking for money to complete something. You know, if I get the money, then I'll be successful. Then I'll get the money, I'll be worthy. Get the money, I'll be proud. And that can never happen long term. Can never happen long term. There's these stories of immigrants that, that came to Australia and turned into billionaires. But all these billionaires, they left, you know, Eastern Europe and Asia and all these places where there were really bad things happening. They come over here to Australia and they go and they they win big in the 70s and the 80s and make all this money. Then they end up with divorces and uh, in jail and embezzling money and fraud and all these things. They end up with nothing again because the only way they ever got motivated was to run away from war. So whenever there wasn't war to motivate them, they'd have to find it because that became their way of being, you see? And so the only way to truly just have it is to have it all now and just choose it. Just have it all now and just choose it, right? So let, let me ask again. <laughs> you guys enjoying today, by the way, because I'm loving it. I'm loving it. How much do you want to create? How much would you like to receive? How much money would you like to receive just because you are choosing it? Just because you're choosing it. <laughs> and see, it doesn't matter how big or small, you just choose it. That's right, Mary, you don't come from scarcity or anything. You just, you already have that. You have everything you want, you just choose it. So I, t I gave all my power away to money. And then when I lost my money, when I lost my business, when everything turned upside down, I felt like I had lost all that because it was all the power was in the money. It was there. And we do this with relationships and all sorts of other things. And so you just choose it. You just choose it. And then you have to realize that there's some rules, Stan. There's some rules because you can choose 1.3 million by the end of next month, but you've also got to go, hey, I'm going to choose to reforest the whole Amazon, right? And you'll notice that, that that's, that's a really challenging thing. I'm not saying it's impossible, but, you know, like that might not happen in a month. Does that make sense? Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to say it wouldn't happen. I've seen people do 1.3 million in a month, no promise. But I'm just saying that there is also some rules, true. And so here's the rules, guys, and I'm going to explain this now, is that money, will, money is a measurement. Money is a measurement of how much you are giving value to someone in a way they want to pay for it, in a way they want to pay for it. And so let's, let's unplug this a little bit. Most of us came from an employee background right we grew up as employees uh oh no didn't we grew up around employees and we had everyone was either self-employed or employed by the government or employed in a job school teachers right we get it employees everywhere and so what we have is the wrong question a lot of times when it comes to money here's the wrong question 
we say to ourselves, what is it that I know how to do? Or what could I learn to do? So then I could turn it into a business. We, we ask ourselves, what is it I know how to do? What could I learn to do? What do I like? And how could I turn that into a way to make money? Does that make sense? That's, that's a question. Who's asked that question, whether they, they know it consciously or not? What is it that I know how to do and how do I turn it into money? And, and that's, it's an unconscious question. We go, what are all the things I'm good at? How do I turn that into money? And, and the truth is, there's a better question. And I want you to write this down is, where's the best opportunity to make the most money in the smallest amount of time? What, where's the best opportunity to make the most amount of money in the smallest amount of time of my time? And that's a better question, right? Where is the best opportunity to make the most amount of money with the smallest amount of time so I can do what I love for free? You see, do you see how that's a completely different paradigm? And how will you know where the best opportunity is, Peter? You'll find a group of hungry people who want to pay to solve their problems and to find the solution to that. You see, nowhere in money making does it say you need to do something? It doesn't. It's not the rule. Nowhere is there a rule that says that. That is not a rule of money making. It does not say you have to have hard work. It does not say you have to be super talented. It doesn't mean you have to do anything. And I've got an example. One of my top clients right now does eight and a half million dollars a year. And what he does is commercial cleaning. He's a great life, works less than nine to five, eight and a half million, super leveraged. I think he has like five staff. Pretty good. Pretty good. He doesn't do any of it. He doesn't get out there and do it. And people go, but I'm not passionate about that, but I'm not. The but that's a different choice. So I want to just keep unpacking this for a second. And I, and I want to talk about your true intention. So when it's come to the area of money making, type in a yes if you felt less than satisfied. In the area of money making, type in a yes if you felt less than satisfied. All right. So let me ask you in total, thanks for typing, to date, less than satisfied to date. Yeah. Cool. So let me ask you, when it comes to your money making, what has been your true intention? When it comes to money making, what has been your true intention? Has it just been to make money or has it been something else? Because a lot of times we confuse the something else with the money making. Okay. So I want to ask you, What's been your true intention? I'll give you some examples. One of my old pattern before I understood this, I thought that I was into making money, but I was actually into saving people. Natasha says, uh, I thought I was into making money, but I've actually been into other things to feel worthy. Yeah. A lot of people think that they're into money making, but they're actually into looking good. Yeah, so Mary says, instead of being into money making, I was too busy trying to help my parents and my kids instead of just into money making and build a health retreat. Yeah, so I was trying to build a health retreat instead of building, making money. Now, I know that this is going to, uh, I know that this is going to trigger some beliefs. But Chris, you know, life's about doing what you're passionate about. Yes. Yes, it is. But today's about money. <laughs> so someone said to me one time when I was talking about this, they go, but Chris, life isn't all about money. I was like, duh. <laughs> Obviously, but are we talking about making money here? So that's what we're talking about, right? And so, so I want to ask you again, what's your intention? See, some people... They've been building businesses, but their real intention has been to look good. Some people thought they were going for money, but their real intention was to stay safe. Some people's intention has been to make money, but they've really been wanting to prove others wrong. Some people have been trying to make money, but they really just wanted to get it right. 
See, some people have been trying to make money. Where is where where's this this person? They've been trying to save people, right? See, some people are trying to talking about just making money, but they're trying to make a huge difference. And and here's what's true: is they're both true. You're just lumping them together. You're just lumping them together. You see, you can make a huge difference and you can make money. They don't have to be together. And then when I say that, someone says to me, but Chris, I'm just not interested in that. Okay, well, you said you were. <laughs> That's why we're here. That's why we're talking about it. So let me just, let's just talk about this. How many of you have noticed, type in a yes if it's true, and let me, give me a no if you're struggling with this, who's noticed that possibly their intention was never pure on just making money. Give me a yes if it's true. And give me a no if it's not for you. Your intention has been solely on, on making money. Mary? Your intention has been solely, you've had a pure intention on, on making money. For no other reason. Well, so the, the truth is, is it just is it just there? And it can be. I'm not I'm not trying to say that it's not because it's good. Is it just being I'm going to do things because I want to I want to create money? And, and that's good because that's a pure intention. That's someone that's going to make it right. But then if I said to you, OK, I've got a great opportunity to make money over here. Did it have to be this way? Was it control? Was it perfect? Did it have to be in one industry? Were you open to opportunities going different ways? Or was it just a pure, I want to make this because, or were you doing it because life would be better? Are you doing it because life would be better? You'd be more safe when you had it. Would you be doing it for other reasons or is it just for it? Yeah, right. Uh, I've always been, um, yeah, so your true intention was life is going to be better. You're not just going for the money. You see, that's a different intention. Hey, Chris, I've always been about getting set up for the future and being ahead of the game. Yeah, so the true intention is I've got to get ahead of this game rather than just going for it. See, what I find 90% of the time, and it's not true for everyone, but 90% of the time we're not just going for what we want. Does this make sense? And this is in, in most areas of life. We're not just going for it. There's always something else instead of just going for it. Nice. Nice. So, so he, no, it's all good. It, it, it's really important because, and, and I want to let you know, you could be completely successful and money could have shown up by going after something else. Money turned up because of it. But what I'm talking about here is just having a pure, clear intention. Because if you ask the question, if you're focused on making more money and your life doesn't change, you just want to make more and nothing will change, you'll just make more, and that's what you you truly know, you're already it, you just want it, that's when it shows up, when you're not attached to it, when you're not, it's not there to solve a problem, when it's not there to do anything else, it's just a choice that you want, and then it adds to your life, and then of course you get to expand on what you already have, then that's absolutely great. Who's getting this, by the way? Who's getting it? So, so one of the, we're gonna do a meditation in a second, Right on, Linda. Linda's getting it. That's great. See, we're going to do a meditation in a second, and we're really going to get into this, that it won't change with the money. You're just going to choose it, just like you're choosing salmon instead of the steak, instead of the salad. You're just going to choose it, and then when we choose it, you line up your actions towards it, and it does not have to be in something you love. It does not have to make a difference. It doesn't have to do all these things. You just choose it because that's what you're choosing. See, your focus will create your reality. Your focus will create your reality. So I want to ask, when I tell you just to choose, what comes up for you? What comes up for you is a belief around, around this. What's a story? What is some inner conflicts? When I say just choose to have the money what pops up for you just maybe you need to feel into it for a second why have you not just chosen to have the money what's there
Right. So there's a story. I've always been told you have to have a reason to want it. Yeah. It has to have a reason. Right. Two of you, same thing. And what the real truth is, is if it has to have a reason, because then why, how else would I be motivated if there wasn't a problem to solve? There, so really when there has to be a reason, it's there has, I have to be incomplete in order to have it. Exhaustion. Okay, so I feel exhausted just wanting it. Well, how do I do it? Yeah, so I have to know how to do it. Yeah. Where's everyone else? So here's some of the questions that, that I want to ask you. Yeah, and, and all of that's true, Jamie. You know, people talk about having a why that's bigger than you. All of that's true. I'm just talking about straight creation, you know. Does it help to do something you love? It seems to me that you're passionate about what you do. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm absolutely passionate about this. I make most of my money in places where I'm not actively passionate. One of the things where if you're super passionate about it, you always end up doing it, always end up doing it. But yeah, I, I am passionate about this, you know. Well, what it marry? It could also just be because that's what you want. There's lots of healthy options. <laughs> yeah. So here's my questions. Uh, and I want to just keep on digging this out, right? Number one, in order for you to have the money, who do you need to be? Type it in. In order for you to have that money, in order for it to be there, who do you need to be? Who do you need to be? I see a lot of you typing in just to all panelists. You can untick it, all panelists and attendees, if you want to interact with others. So who do you need to be? Right on. No, that's the question, Kevin. Who do you need to be to have it? An action taker, okay. Just got to be you. Cool, cool. See, the truth is, is you just need to be someone who chooses money. Right on, Peter. Peter wrote in the person who's already have it. You just have to be someone who chooses money. You have to be someone who chooses money. Write it in. I'm someone who chooses money. I choose it. I choose to have it. I'm someone who chooses money. I choose it. You know, in order for it to be someone who has this, uh, this computer, I chose that I was someone who has this computer. I'm someone who chooses money. I just choose it. And that's an identity. And we're going to explore this identity. I choose it. I just choose it. I'm someone who just choose to have money. Nice. Right on. I'm someone who chooses to have money. And that's it. That's who you are. Billionaires do not have fridge magnets that say, I'm abundantly wealthy. <laughs> they already are. So you're someone who just chooses it, right? And by, I don't know all the billionaires. Maybe one of them have one. Yeah, like you might choose a hat. So I choose to live here. I choose to have this. I'm someone who chooses to have money. See, a lot of times we've been someone who chooses to, um, to be striving to have money. But I need you to step into this. I'm someone who chooses to have money. I'm someone who chooses to have money. Full stop. I'm someone who chooses to have money. Who feels that energy when they say that to themselves? I'm just someone who chooses to have money. That's who I am. I am that. I am someone who chooses to have money. I'm someone who chooses to have more money than I can spend. I'm somebody who chooses it. Oh, who gets triggered by that? I'm somebody who chooses to have more money than they spend. Mm. <laughs> nice, Peter. Nice, yeah. Heart beating, right on. Yeah, just choose it. It's cool. It's cool. So we're going to do uh, a little bit of a meditation right now, but... Uh, 
I want to just check in with everybody. And I want you to really honestly answer on a scale of one to 10. How much do you believe your life will change if you had that result? One is it wouldn't change at all. 10 is it would be a massive, massive change. I want you just to, to write in. Nice, thanks for being honest. Two tens, a two, a three, cool. 15 out of 10, a nine, a five, a six, five, awesome. An eight, an eight, a four, a 10, cool. Okay, so that's what we've got to work on. Okay, that's what we've got to work on. That number, uh, Stan, that's, that, it can't be both not at all or totally. Will it change or not? <laughs> it can't be both. It's a scale. That, that, I'd call that a five. <laughs> I love you, man. <laughs> That's called being in the middle. One is not at all. Ten is complete. Both is like a five. <laughs> Whatever. You can have it. You can have your own scale. Okay, and type it in, guys, or write it down. Just, just so you know, ten is it would completely change. Okay. So. The truth is, is that it absolutely won't. I want to ask, when I tell you it won't, how does that make you feel? It's untrue, Stan. It's untrue because it's a feeling. I don't believe you. Awesome. Perfect. So, so let me work with that. So, um, you know, so Stan, you wrote in, uh, I, I won't, it won't, it, it would be the same, but my impact would be different. And, and the truth is, is what impact would you actually like to make? And you'll say, well, I would be helping thousands more. And I would say that is the exact same thing because what we truly want is the feeling. It is the key, Peter, it is the key. When I'm with billionaires, whether they have it or not, they're the same because they do not get completed. They don't have completion by money. They're not getting completed by the external. They're already complete. That's right, that's right. The truth is, though, you can actually do all of it now. So let me expand your mind. What other resources other than money do you need in order to hit your impact goals, guys? What's infinitely more important than money? That's true, Alan. That's true, Julie. The how, maybe. Yep, that's true. All of that's true. Choices, me, happiness, health. One relationship, Stan. One relationship with one person could exponentially increase your impact more than any amount of money could. You could make all the money and lose health. See, the truth is, is that we've put so much power into the money. See, your lifestyle could completely change, guys. You could end up being the health consultant to a billionaire. They fly you around, amazing lifestyle, put you in. That could happen without the money, and they could not even pay you. And so what we've done is we're closing off so many possibilities by putting the power in the money. Does this make sense? 
just make sense those few people that know who I'm talking to is it's true it's just true there is nothing you cannot access now nothing and then you just choose to have the money but some people say well why would I still choose to have the money then Chris well you're going to choose it because you're choosing it and that is going to allow you to be truly satisfied with your life and have more which is so good nice okay so we're going to do a bit of a process around this Are you guys all excited because it's just important so let me uh um you already are much more than money. You already, you're not attracting, you already. You already are much more. So we're going to get ready for a closed eye process, guys. It's going to be a really good one tonight. Uh, I'm super excited about it. So I'm just going to move my stand-up desk to a, a normal desk. <laughs> awesome. Okay. So this is going to allow you by the end of this to feel really, 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 really solid about this choice. Does that sound good? Really solid. You're going to feel really firm on it. And we're going to overcome the one fear that your ego has around money. Awesome. Awesome. So just go ahead when you're ready and just close your eyes and just choose to have an absolutely awesome experience right now because it's going to be great. And take a couple big deep breaths and just relax for a second. And take another big breath in through your nose and out through your mouth, just relaxing. And just continue to relax and follow along with my words. In your mind, bring up a picture. A picture of you sitting in front of a big computer screen. And just imagine yourself. That's it. Just imagine yourself sitting in front of a big computer screen and have the keyboard on your lap. Have the keyboard in your lap and just continue to relax like it's a really comfy couch sofa that you're just, it's like your favorite one. It's so comfortable. And just sit there with the keyboard in your lap, looking up at the big computer screen. It's kind of like one of those old computer screens. It's big though, and it just feels really comfortable might even be a wireless keyboard. And, and you just want to start typing. And I want you to type in the exact amount of money that you have chosen to create. So you'll write your name. So I write your name, Chris Duncan. Don't write mine. Choose to have $10 million whatever your choice was. You don't have to, don't be comparing choices, just your choice. And I just want you to, to look up at that screen and just notice how it feels to sit there and look at that choice. And as soon as you've written it, which I hope is now just your name, I and your name choose to be someone who has and then have that money. In a second, you're going to press the enter button, but not now. As soon as you press the enter button, you're going to be transported into the perfect moment when you have all of that. You'll feel it. You know exactly what it's going to be like. So go ahead and press the enter button now. And I want you to imagine what it's like to be someone that has that. And as you imagine what it's like, what life will be like, can you also notice that everything is still the same? 
Notice that your bank account has lots more money in it than it used to a long time ago, but everything else is the same. But everything else is the same. Imagine waking up in the morning, the exact same person in the bed. Imagine being that exact same person waking up doing exactly what you do every single day, just with more money in your account. What is it that you go to do that day? How is it that you feel in your body? Notice that you're the exact same person, just with more money in your bank. Walk to your bathroom and have a look in the mirror. And as you look in the mirror, just give yourself a smile. As you notice that you have more money in your bank account, but you're the exact same person. Really feel that for a second. You might have millions in the bank account, but life is exactly the same. Just feel that for a second. Breathe it in. Just think about what you're going to do for the rest of the day. How you're going to choose to create more money just because you choose to. Imagine yourself going about your normal day, doing exactly what you normally do, driving the exact car you normally drive, living in the exact house you normally live, but just imagine it with millions or hundreds of thousands of dollars in the bank account and life being exactly the same. So what's next in life for you knowing that you choose to make more money and that life's exactly the same. What's life about really? Connect into that. Can you feel it? Feel the energy inside your body, the release, the relief. Nothing changes when you make more money. And so decide in your heart, decide right now what life's gonna be about. What's life gonna be about now? That you have the money and you know that it doesn't change you. What's life really about? What do you really care about? What do you really wanna do? Who do you really want to be? When you're ready, open your eyes and come back. How's everyone feeling? Kevin says, I didn't want to come back. Lots of tears, but a smiley face. Thanks. Amazing, Tash. Awesome. Relief and calm. Feeling great. 
happy. <laughs> Thanks, Dan. Smiles from start to end, beautiful. Anyone had a hard time? That's right, that's right. Awesome, so, yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Awesome, okay, so uh, there's a second part to this. There's a second part to this. And the second part to this is what is the belief that you have? What is the belief that you have that you, what belief do you have that you need money to be able to do something different? What's that belief? Write it in. Julie's already written hers in, which is, um, uh, having money would enable me to get the treatments they can't have now, so it's hard to be the same. To get treatments or give treatments, I'm not sure. So what belief do you have that stops you from accepting that it's just going to be like now? It's important. Having money will allow me to be in my non-flexible daily grind. Having money means being out of debt that bother me. Get treatment. Mm. It's not a question for everyone, Natasha. It's a question for those who feel that something they couldn't do that because there is something that will change. I don't want to be like now want to be out of debt. Yeah. So this is great. Okay. Usually when I do this one, the presence exercise, which is this exercise, half the people are able to get in there and half of the people actually have something that they need to let go of. So I wanted to get the first belief and now I want to, yeah, we're going to, we're going to shift it, shift it right now. What's the core feeling that comes with that belief? Yeah, nice. Yeah, what else would someone believe to have that experience? So the experience that a lot of us are having is no, I'm powerless to enjoy my day job. If I had money, no, I would suddenly just love every day, even though I've trained myself and I've chosen things that I don't love for the last 30 years of my life. No, if I had money, then I'd be able to have these treatments which I could find other ways to get to, or there's ways to do treatments and there's all sorts of things that are amazing at collapsing the quantum experience. What is, what, what is, so Jamie writes in, I feel like if I had the money, I could leave my day job. You could leave your day job now. There's something else that's behind it. There's something else that's behind it. Does that make sense, Jamie? I don't have the power to change it, maybe. Hmm. Just explore this with me, Julie. You're very talented at this. What's the core belief behind that? 
If I had the money, I'd have more choices. No, sometimes having more money, you have less. So what, what I'm going to do is we're going to go back and we've got one more process to do if you choose to do it with me. Does that sound like a fair? Who's doing it with me? Type in a yes if you're going to choose to do it. Awesome. Don't have to. Some of you are totally good. So here's the question. When you think about your resistance to the fact that nothing changes when you have more money, if you close your eyes and you ask yourself, how old was I when I created this belief? Some age will pop into your head. How old was I when I created this belief? And if you've got it in your mind, or if not, either way is fine. Just close your eyes and just allow yourself to grow younger and grow younger. I want to ask your super conscious if it's okay to speak with your super conscious and to treat parts of you that were created at a really young age. And I want to ask super conscious. Can you see the original event, this lifetime or past lifetimes? Yes, it can. And so let's go all the way back, all the way back. That's it. And you'll just know when you're there instinctively or just keep rewinding the clock all the way back in your mind until you're there when you created this belief. That's it. It's kind of like the elephant who was pulling at the rope when it was really small. And now it's this giant elephant held by a tiny piece of rope because it made this decision when it was really small. Just notice for a second the decisions you're making. What was the benefit of creating this belief? And you might consciously be aware of this or just know that you're getting it. You always had a benefit of creating everything and you are the creator. You are the creator. I want to ask you super conscious to notice the benefits the benefits to the person to create this belief all the way back then. And I want you to ask you to treat it, to treat this belief or to notice all the other things you could believe instead. Just notice all the things you could believe instead. And if we make a change, we don't have to forget the facts, but we can just forget the emotion. We can just treat the emotion now. And I just want to ask super conscious, please treat the emotion of this event and make a decision that will support the active experience and current reality even more. And so just notice for a second, a decision that makes more sense. Usually it's the complete opposite of the one you were thinking. Notice all the ways that you can make that decision now and just choose it. Choose that new decision. See it from your genius point of view. I'm always free. I choose to have all the money I want. I choose to be healthy all the time. I choose to feel loved and supported. I choose to give it to myself. I choose to be my own superhero, my own support. I choose to let it go. I choose and just choose what you need to choose in order to make the current reality more enjoyable. So choose it. That's it, and breathe into that choice. 
I choose for all of you listening to this right now to have total satisfaction, everything you want in the now. I choose for you to be powerful creators, to have everything you want and to choose to have more money, more abundance, more health, more vitality, everything now. I choose you to have it all now. That's it. That's it. And you'll know when you've chosen it because you've started walking forward in life only as fast, only as fast as your change history will reevaluate itself and your past will pop into new places and you rewrite history. Coming all the way back to now. Keeping your eyes closed, choosing. Choosing to have it all now. Choosing to realize all the other resources other than money that can allow you to have it now. Choosing to feel how it would feel to have everything you want now. Choosing it now. And when you're ready to open your eyes into a new reality, having it now, you can, and you can open your eyes and come back to now. How was that? Hmm. We've created everything. Everything is a construct. Everything is ours. We are totally in control. We have just been conditioned to give up that control. You can have everything you want now and have billions of dollars in the bank. Nothing is going to change you. Awesome, Maureen. Thanks, Teresa. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks, Natasha. It is so key, whatever it is that you are manifesting, that you're it now. And it's just a choice. It's just a choice. How is that, guys? Type in, let me know. Is there anyone still struggling with this? Money won't change you, guys. It's completely safe. It's irrelevant to you as a human being. You can be a complete asshole and have money. You can be the kindest person on the planet and be broke. It's just true. It is a pure measurement of how you have given value in a way that people want to pay for it. Nice. At least do a hand raise if you're not typing in so that I know that this is complete for you. If not, at least a thanks Tracy saw that. Thanks Natasha saw that. Awesome. It is, Jamie, and it doesn't mean you need to take action to change anything. It just means you need to feel good about that now. You see, you need to feel good about that now because the money is just a reason you can feel good. There's, there's nothing. You're a smart person. There's no reason why you can't. That's it. And that's power, guys. If you got nothing out of today, which I'm sure you got lots, it's where's the power in this? The power is you. The power is going, you know what? I'm going to love my freaking life now. Money, having more of it is great. I'm going to choose to have that, but I'm going to love it now because I promise you is it you will, you will find ways to get rid of it if you don't have it now. You'll do all sorts of other stuff. You can have it all now. There's infinitely, infinite abundance. Hmm. Such infinite abundance around this. 
So here's my question. What is the best opportunity for you to create the most amount of money in the smallest amount of time? That's your question. <laughs>